Hi everyone, I'm Esther from Essie Cooks and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a crispy roasted potato and chickpea kale salad. This is so delicious, filling, and satisfying. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make this. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do here is make sure that my oven has been preheated to 425 degrees because we are going to be roasting our potatoes and our chickpeas. And then I have about a pound of Yukon Gold potatoes here. You can use baby potatoes, whatever you want. You can even use sweet potatoes for this if you wanted to. You might have to adjust the cooking time a little bit. Um, so you can see about four potatoes is going to be right about this size. I'm going to cut those into bite-sized pieces. So just like that. You want the pieces to be pretty equal in size so that they are going to cook through evenly. Just about that size. Next, we are going to grab one 19 ounce can of chickpeas. We're going to rinse those super thoroughly. And then while we're at it, we're going to grab our bunch of kale. So one bunch of kale, wash really well in between all those leaves because sometimes mud can get stuck in them. Then we are going to dry those kale leaves off really well. And we're just going to set them aside. I just did this with a kitchen towel. Okay, now I've got a large baking sheet here lined with parchment paper. So I am just going to add in my chopped potatoes and my can of chickpeas. I just wanna make sure that my chickpeas stay to one side because they might roast a little bit faster than the potatoes. So we might have to pull them out a few minutes earlier. So I'm just gonna keep my potatoes to the one side and my chickpeas to the other side. Now we are gonna be using the same seasonings on both the potatoes and the chickpeas. So we're gonna start with some extra virgin olive oil. So I'm gonna put about a tablespoon on the potatoes and half a tablespoon on the chickpeas. And I'm going to season with some garlic powder, about half a teaspoon of garlic powder on each side. And I'm going to put some paprika, about half a teaspoon of paprika on each side as well. I'm going to use smoked paprika for a smoky flavor, but you can use regular paprika if you like. And then optional, you can add some hot chili powder if you want it to be a little bit spicy. I want to have a little spice on mine, so I'm going to add some hot chili powder, but that's up to you. You can play around with these seasonings. If there's some other spices you want to put on here, go for it. And then, of course, we are going to be adding salt and pepper to taste on here. Then using clean hands, I'm just going to toss these to combine them really thoroughly. We just want to make sure that everything is evenly coated on those potatoes and chickpeas. All right, now I'm just going to pop that in the oven at 425 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes. We're going to flip these halfway. And like I said, we're going to check on the chickpeas. They might be ready a little bit sooner. Now, while those are roasting, we are going to go ahead and prepare our maple mustard tahini dressing. So we're going to start with a quarter cup of tahini. If you don't like tahini, you can use vegan mayo. We're going to put one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, one tablespoon of yellow mustard, and we're going to put two tablespoons of maple syrup. If you want it a little bit less sweet, just use one tablespoon of maple syrup. And I'm going to shake that up and check on the consistency. Oh, and I'm going to add one tablespoon of lemon juice in there as well. Shake it up, check on the consistency, and then I'm going to add water to thin it out if needed. It depends on your tahini. Sometimes it's pretty thick and we need to add some water, one tablespoon at a time to thin it out a little bit. And I'm going to add salt and pepper to taste. And that is my delicious, creamy, dreamy, healthy maple mustard tahini dressing. If you love mustard, this one is absolutely so delicious. I just love this dressing. Now this is ready. We'll set it aside. All right, we're at about 15 minutes here and I'm just going to flip these so that we can get them roasted nice and evenly. I'm going to do that with the chickpeas and also with the potatoes. So these are definitely not ready yet. We might have to go to 35-40 minutes. We'll see, but we're just going to keep an eye on these and check on them in another 12 to 15 minutes. All right, so I've got my kale here. I am just going to remove the stems. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in here. So we just have the leaves and get rid of those. And I'm going to do that with the rest of these. Okay, now I'm just going to gather all the kale up and I'm just going to chop it into nice bite-sized pieces. Right now, just to remove the bitterness from the kale, I'm going to put about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. You could use 
uh, lemon juice instead if you want to. And I'm just gonna massage that into the kale. This just takes about one minute. It's just gonna soften the kale and it's gonna remove the bitterness. Now my chickpeas are nice and crispy. I'm gonna let the potatoes go back in for another five. So I'm just gonna remove those chickpeas, set them aside and throw the potatoes back in for another five minutes. Now I'm just gonna assemble my bowls by adding in the kale. I'm gonna add in those roasted chickpeas and top it off with my crispy potatoes. And now I'm gonna drizzle on top that mustard, maple, creamy tahini dressing. And I just made myself one bowl here and I saved the leftovers for meal prep. These bowls are so delicious, so healthy, so nutritious, so pack full of vitamins. You can add extra protein on here if you like. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button.